Welcome to the Insomnia Project, the holiday episodes. Thank you, everyone who's been responding, sending us messages, telling us how much they're enjoying these particular episodes that may be a little bit peppier. Clearly, the music is a little bit more exciting or dramatic in this case. I'm your host, Marco (laughs) Timpano. And I'm wishing you, Marco, a happy birthday. I'm Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Yes, today is my birthday, December 17th. And uh, that's why this episode might be getting to you a little bit later, because I was enjoying a delicious and lovely breakfast in bed, thanks to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you to our friends at Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> not an official sponsor. No, of the they're podcast. not. But they sponsored my breakfast this morning when I went down to make you a coffee and ordered some breakfast sandwiches and Nutella donuts to be delivered so that when I came up with coffee, I had a few extra things. What just happened there? Don't worry, because I'll edit that out. <laughs> okay. Um, it was a little, it was, Amanda heard me speak into the mic. I heard uh, from, a little oops. Yeah, that, that was from a previous <laughs> recording, so okay. I can take that out. But um, yeah, uh, first of all, let me just say the music. You were asking about the music. So for these holiday episodes, I've tried to I find... was not, not you the fan or you the listener. Yeah, that's right. Amanda was asking me, that's <laughs> right, uh, about the music. And I have to use uh, copyright-free music. So mm-hmm. a lot of the music are older carols or in this case, some, um, what would you call it? Like Jane Austen music. Well, no, it's actually, um, it's... It's a She's composer. A joy to man. Yeah, like old, old music. Yeah, but old. I feel like it's like I'm in a Jane Austen movie and I'm, you know, the ingenue and I'm displaying my piano prowess yes, well, in a drawing room full of old women. That's your life with me for sure. <laughs> so, so yes. Yeah, so I that I just didn't want to use the first Noel again or all the songs that I, I constantly. I like the use. music. I like the when it turned into organ. An organ thing. Mm -hmm. To me, it feels very churchy, even though it's classical music that would have been in a a orchestration or an opera or something, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. But a lot of classical music was made for the church, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a religious scholar. But you grew up going to church. I didn't. So I don't have that reference as much. Fair enough. So you'll get you'll get both sides of the holiday wishes from the heathen (laughs) and the churchgoer, I guess, here on this side, (laughs) uh, if you're listening to um, uh, our podcast. And however you celebrate the holidays, we Mm -hmm. wish uh, merriment, brightness, joy, love, light, all those things to you. Mm -hmm. So, Amanda, I need to express something. Oh, oh. With regards to birthdays that come around the holidays, uh, one thing that I always appreciate is that you make the effort to wrap any gifts that I get, which I don't expect any, in proper birthday. Yes, you do. Well, absolutely do. I might expect one or two um, in in proper birthday paper and not Christmas paper. A hundred percent. I would never, ever do that. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I judge people who do. So if you're a listener saying, oh, if I've wrapped birthday presents and Christmas paper around December, I judge you. I'm just going to say that. I've once given a Christmassy present to someone, my dear friend Wade, on a birthday. I gave him a Christmassy tie, I think, that and like was lit it well, up. Was it well received? Yeah, I think okay. he enjoyed it. It said like joy or something on it. I think and it like lit up. I don't know. Now, all this to say, I received a most um, – hilarious and amazing birthday present a few days ago from your sister becca barker yeah. <laughs> you'll i'm gonna i'm gonna explain what happened um but let me start by saying i love my sister-in-law you will hear her on her birthday coming up towards the mm-hmm. end of the month and um i had just have a delightful time with your sister uh, especially when we're doing fun things we have a similar sense of humor and we will laugh together in ways that i don't laugh with others mm-hmm. especially when we're sampling a whole bunch of Amados that I laid out for her. Unlike Amanda, she likes Amados, which are a bitter liqueur. And I had about 15 out, and she just drank them with me, and we just got tipsier and tipsier, and we were just having a great time. You both have an affinity for TV shows of the 80s, too. Well, because that's because we're children of the 80s, right? I guess, but not every child of the 80s has a real, like, can tell you who starred in what, you know, made-for-TV movie and stuff. But I feel like... You. Well, that's because we're smart children of the 80s. That's <laughs> okay, why. anyway. So, Beck, sorry, were you going to? No. Uh, no, what were you going to say? Now I don't I know. Like I, I cut you off. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. One of our listeners said that we have a really lovely rapport. And I'm like. Little well, do they know. Little do they know. No, they the, said you, we have a lovely marriage or something oh, like that. 
Well, that's lovely to hear. I know. Happy yeah. happy birthday. I give Thank you the you. gift of marriage. I love it. <laughs> Wrapped in a bow. One size fits all. Okay, so <laughs> Which is good cuz we're we're both a little bit different. We are both. 11 years in, you know, some things have settled I'm for a, me. I'm for a me. Sagittarian, fun, travel, excitement. You're a Virgo, <sighs> critical, um, exacting, mean, stubborn, yeah. twisted nose. That feels All those good. Things. That I'm feels kidding. really good. Thank you. <laughs> I love just, this marriage. <laughs> I'm just adding things to that. Oh, my Virgos. <laughs> twisted nose. <laughs> <laughs> All our listeners who are Virgos are touching their noses right now saying, what? It is a little twisty. <laughs> I never realized I have that little twist at the end. No, clearly I love Virgos. <laughs> I'm married to one, so. You had, well. Okay, so back I to. I think you would have loved me more had I been a more compatible sign. No doubt. If you were a fire sign, I would have been like <laughs> really cool. But anyways, back to your sister. Back to my so, sister who is an earth sign like me. Mm-hmm. But I get I, I I love a ca- Capricorn. Capricorns and me. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be a sign episode, which has nothing to do with the holidays, <laughs> but rather the winter solstice, which I guess would would work yeah. nonetheless. Christmas astrology. We haven't tapped into that. No, we haven't. Um, that would be interesting to see. What are you able to look up? What are the perfect gifts for certain signs of the zodiacs? While I tell the story of your sure. sister, do you mind doing I love that? that? Great. Yeah. Okay, so I want to start by saying this: my sister in law is delightful and she's always game for something. She's always game to do something. When I said, hey, do you want to record a podcast? She's like, yep, let me put it in my schedule. And I was like, this is awesome. Because I know if it's in your sister's schedule, it's going to get done. She'll be late for it. If it's in her schedule, she'll be late for it and you'll get through five texts in a row saying, I'm so sorry. Fair enough. But she will but she will do it. She did it. She did it. And we had a great time. And um, so your sister was here. And we had just come back from Montreal. She was here for school, mm-hmm. for, for an important school thing. She was, she's going to school here, but she lives in – it doesn't matter. She lives in Halifax. And she was here for a week, right? Mm-hmm. And we had just come home from Montreal. And just before we left Montreal, we stopped at a my favorite Montreal bagel stop and picked up 24 donuts. That's right. No, not donuts. Uh, sorry, bagels. Montreal, bagels. Sorry. Montreal I'm looking up. I, I have it in front of me now. I, I just had a donut, so that's why that's on my mind. Uh, so we got Montreal-style bagels. Have we talked about the Montreal-style no, bagels? I have on past episodes, okay. but because we have new listeners or people who are listening for the holidays right. who may not have heard that, Montreal makes their very distinct style of bagels. And if you haven't had the opportunity to have them, I implore you to have them. They are wonderful. They are smaller than the New York style bagel. So they're not as um, fluffy and fat. They're a bit more dense, but they have a sweetness to them. And they're just they're tremendous. They're boiled in water that is mixed with honey. That's why they have a sweetness to them. Yeah. Yeah, they're boiled in like a honey water. And, and They're not sticky, though. No, they're not sticky. They're wonderful. And w- one should know, if you don't know the history of Montreal, there's a very strong and wonderful Jewish community that has been in Montreal for years and years and years. And so some of their traditions, some of their culinary experience and uh, cuisine, some of their delight is really present in Montreal. And they have a very strong, there's a very strong and wonderful Jewish community in Montreal. And hence, we have these wonderful, I want to say they're they're from a, they're, they're adat- an adaptation of a European style bagel. That's what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. I'm not a scholar in that. But and if you are, please let us know. But, anyways, I just want to say I love, 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 love a Montreal style bagel. So we had stopped, picked up 24 or 48 bagels, and came home with the intention of sharing them with your sister and freezing some. And as our listeners might know, I'm a little bit particular. I have my I'm I'm stu- stuck in my ways. Well, my sister-in-law, in order to help us, cut all the bagels in half. So what fr- so what happened was I came downstairs and because these bagels are quite thin and uh, they're best eaten fresh. So yeah, you do want to freeze some, but they're but if you can help it, don't freeze them cuz they're always going to be better as fresh fresh bagels like any bread product. Anyway, um and it should be n- noted that we had Poppy seed and rosemary bagels. bagels those, those were the, the two ones we, we chose. chose. And uh, anyway, so they're very thin, and you can just sort of rip them off like you would rip a croissant and eat them that way. 
Uh, well, I, I rip croissants. I don't. But they're not flaky and light like a croissant. They're more bagel. No, but bagel-y. like I, I suppose you could also cut a croissant in half. Sure. But but if it's fresh, you'd you'd rip it and maybe you dunk some it into some butter or jam if you're me. <laughs> but right. anyway, so um, that's how we like to eat them. I came downstairs and she said, "Hey, I sliced all your bagels for you." And I went, "What?" <laughs> and she was, <laughs> she had sliced. All 24 of our bagels, she had cut them all in half so that they'd be easier to get from the freezer so that we could just take them out of the freezer and pop them in the toaster frozen. And, of course, for me, the integrity of the bagel, the freshness of the bagel keeps when you keep it intact and you cut it upon use even if you freeze them. So my jaw kind of dropped to the ground when Amanda told me that she cut all the bagels because I knew that they would no longer be. Marco said, hey, why don't you get me a bagel? He was actually in this booth. And I said, okay, do you want it sliced or unsliced? Because I said to her, okay, I just knew it was going to be an issue. And so, and also she was trying to help, but like, (laughs) so I said to you, do you want a bagel? Yes. Do you want it sliced or unsliced? Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to slice those, hon. That's what I said. Yeah. And I went, okay, so Becky sliced them all. And you went, and you grabbed my arm and your eyes went wide. And you, I don't want to be too exciting for this podcast, sure. but you shouted no. And I said yes. And then you said, all of them? All 24 of them? <laughs> and I said yes. So my bagel heart was a little bit broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all this, I'm sure our listeners are thinking, these two are a little bit, you know, out of out of this world. But, okay, so, of course, it at the end of the day, it didn't matter much. And Becca felt bad, and I didn't want her to feel bad. And, and She couldn't stop laughing because she realized how, what a faux pas this is to go into someone's house and completely murder their food. <laughs> right. And when it comes to food, you know, Amanda, I'm very particular and persnickety. You? I will admit it. And, and I'm supposed to be the persnickety one with a Virgo. And meanwhile, I'm totally chill oh, well, for the you, record. For the record, Amanda will not eat also buco. I'm just going to say that. You, because it's nasty. It's not. It's wonderful. Okay. Mm-hmm. So having said that, we laughed it off. The other day, the doorbell rings. And I was I was in the booth and Amanda got it. And she I came upstairs and she was like, okay. Hang on, I gotta show you your si- my your birthday present for my sister has come in. Give me one second. And Amanda got it, and it was a box of bagels from Saint Viteur, which is my favorite bagel shop in Montreal, of six dozen six dozen bagels freshly delivered from Montreal, uncut to our house. And I could not stop laughing or thinking about it for the rest of the day. My si- my sister in law did what I love was she pay- she played an awesome practical joke with with a history to it and just let it land and for me it was a callback as was, we call it it was a callback it was well played it was <laughs> delicious it was funny and for me it was an ultimate wonderful birthday present so I just want that to be said in case my sister and now we have listens. so many bagels now we have so many bagels that box was filled with bagels. filled with bagels so we gave some to Dale and Trevor oh, and yeah and anyway. it's just it's just it was just delightful mm-hmm. so thank you so that was a wonderful thing all right let's get off my birthday because this podcast is not about birthdays but if you are celebrating in December or January you have a very warm happy birthday coming from me to you and if you celebrate your birthday around any holiday or on a holiday, I sympathize and my heart and my happiness goes to you. Amazing. So, Amanda, did you find out the perfect gifts I, for certain signs? I did, but okay. I, I will tell you that when you Google this type of thing, it's very challenging because it, they all just want to sell you. Like there was a make – I th- kept thinking I had good ones. and then. So wh- what sign do you want me to start with? Let's start with the first, which I believe is is Capricorn. Okay. Oh, no. In it's that, actually Aries, but, Aries, but I'm Aries. actually at Capricorn. Okay, so here we just go. Just go in any order. So for Capricorn, I, I'm not going to – all of them are like trying to sell you a gift. So I'm not going to tell you the brands and sure. stuff because no Did one you cares. say Capricorn like, <laughs> like, like, like we're in Massachusetts? Like Shaka Khan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Shaka Khan's birthday is in December. <laughs> I think it's actually Christmas Eve. I think so. Really? I love Shaka Khan. Are I'll look that look up. It up. Okay. For Capricorns, <laughs> um, 
They say a programmable coffee maker is what you want. And that certainly checks out with a Capricorn that we know, my (laughs) sister, because she's the girl's addicted to her her coffee. Let it be said that um, our listeners have really resonated with the fact that you put eggnog in your coffees during the holidays. Thank you. And they have responded. You're welcome. So much. I thought you were being a little offensive when you said what you said about people. I said, if you're not putting eggnog in your coffee for the entire month of December, you're not my friend. (laughs) That's what you said. A little bit dramatic. And let it be known that Shaka Khan was born on March 23rd, 1953. (laughs) And Shaka Khan, if you're listening or if anyone knows Shaka Khan, please know that A, I think you're wonderful. Oh, my God. How great would it be if Shaka Khan was like our biggest fan? How great would it be to get Shaka Khan on this podcast? It'd be amazing. Shaka Khan, if you're listening, just know I wish you a happy birthday here in December for your birthday in March. <laughs> and I think you're wonderful. You know my favorite Shaka Khan interview. I, I know. Should I talk about it no, or not? No, I don't think I think I don't think it's necessarily appropriate to talk I just about. love that she has no problem being inappropriate and I have mad props and I love her music. She is who she is. Yeah. She's got a voice like nobody else. She's a great songwriter. Yeah, she's great. Uh, you listen to her music from every decade and her voice <laughs> is just on par today as it was from the first day she stepped in front of a microphone. <laughs> We're talking about Shaka Khan's March birthday. Okay, Nothing's when more, did she born? March what? 23rd. Nothing's more <laughs> more holiday-ish than talking about Shaka Khan. If I could get a Shaka Khan ornament for our tree, my, my Christmas would be complete. Oh, gosh. You and your demands. You're like your nephew who you make up. You make up gifts that exist. And then I have to run around and find them. That don't exist. That don't exist. Yeah. Uh, They exist in your brain. Um, Amanda got me uh, ice water with the biggest chunk of ice. So if you hear clinking and clanking, it's Amanda. Okay. Oh, there's some more gifts for the Capricorns. Uh, A weekly planner. It says a boche set. Oh, I love boche. For the Or bocce, as some people say it. Bocce. If you haven't had a chance to play bocce, um, definitely that's a great gift if you're looking for something for someone. And we'll talk about it in a future episode next season, All how right. to play. I, I feel like my time is waning and I okay. have 11 more zodiac signs to get through. So if you're buying for an Aquarius, yes, a planetarium projector, it says, oh. is the best gift. I, I don't know if I'll – do you need to know the reasons why it relates to this sign? Well, a little bit because I think that's really strange. Apparently, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they, they love tech. Okay. Aquarians love tech so okay. that – and uh, so, of all the tech things you could get them, a planetarium projector. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a fun gift, though. It's certainly the gift for I would never kid. expect. Yeah, sure. Um, bath salts, forest witch bath salts. Um, Aquarians uh, love anything that gives the whiff of the mystical. Ooh, I love that. So that's that's why they like that. Okay. All right. So those are two things. Gives Pisces. Um, this is an interesting – Pisces love to escape from reality. So gifts that do that. So a luxury bucket-style towel warmer. We had a towel warmer, remember? We did. It wasn't a great one. It was like a toaster. You put a little towel and then you press down and the, the towel popped up. Is that what it was? Yeah. Something like that. But when I was in Europe, Took they had – too much room, I think. What? I remember. In Europe, they had towel bars that, would, that were like heated mm-hmm. so they would warm your towel on the towel rack. Mm-hmm. And it was wonderful. It was mm-hmm. very luxurious, very lovely. Well, they say that or a full body bath pillow, apparently. So like spa kind of things for Pisces, I guess. All right. Pisces is actually the last of the zodiac signs. So I'm going to go back up here. People who are into astrology are like, why did they start there? What are they doing? Um, okay. So Aries. We have a lot of Aries, including Aries. Shaka Khan is an Aries. I, I love believe. When it stands to Aries. Aries is one of my favorite signs. All my friends who are Aries, of, yeah. I just love. We have I a lot love, of Aries oh, friends, Aries don't we? Aries is the best. Um, okay, so uh, Aries like being competitive. So a gaming headset yes. is, is recommended for them. Um, a custom beanie for some reason. A toque. Yeah, Let's giving call a it. customized gift, a design your own. Um, they would love like a fire, something with a fiery saying on it. Can we just call it Took from now on? Yes. Because that's how that's no, I'm beanie. trying. I'm trying These to change Americans the world. Americans with their beanie. That's not what a beanie that's is. That's not a beanie. A beanie is a little a little skull cappy thing it's with a, a twirl toque, with a kids. twirly it's thing a on the top. Here's a fun one. Astro Jetson had one on the Can I just tell you this is a really fun idea? Uh, it's an inflatable toboggan. 
Oh. Yeah, that's a really fun idea because toboggans take up so much room. It's true. Or sleds, if you use the word sled. But I used toboggan. What did you use in Massachusetts, toboggan or sled? Oh, it's a whole thing. Okay. We would say s- sledding, but out east we would say we're going to go sliding. Uh, okay. What is that? You what? are so... You you have a real prejudice against the East Coast. You really I don't, do. I really don't. Uh, l- l- just replay that. Everyone just hit that little 15 rewind button on your thing and l- listen to Marco go, Ugh. No, because... Listen to that. And then he... And then he he gaslights me and says, I, no, I don't. I'm not gaslighting you. I did make that sound, and I realize I made that sound. You're gaslighting but, but, me over, <laughs> over, the, over your East Coast prejudice. <laughs> You're like, I love the East Coast. They're so lovely out there. They're I so do love wonderful. the East Coast. I have a T-shirt. Exhibit A. Ugh. No, I did that because I asked you, what do you say, sled or toboggan? And you're like, I say sliding. That wasn't an option. Well, it, people call things different things. Okay, but when when you— go- I had this whole dream that we were going to go across <laughs> Canada and talk about fun traditions across Canada from every territory and province. And I couldn't even get past Fredericton, and you cut me off. So there we go. I did that because we have listeners all over the world who so, are going to— Who know we're Canadian and might think, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a province. I didn't know— that territory. Okay, stay tuned for next season when we have that during, during okay. one anyway, of our episodes. I think, okay. I just wanted to say this. I think in a, no matter what you call it, sledding, sliding, tobogganing, mm-hmm. um, I think an inflatable toboggan is a great idea because then you can pack it up really small. I love that idea. Yeah, and you know me in space. And I also think it's going to add more, you know, when you go over the bumps, it'll add more cushion for it. It'll absorb cushion the, for the push. <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> absorbing the impact. Okay. All um, right. Let's keep going. Because uh, this is tar- Taurus. Taurus. I can't say Ta- Taurus. When, where are we? <laughs> Folks, can you just rewind 15 seconds ago and listen to Amanda say that word? I can't say <laughs> Ta- Taurus. Taurus are, are you for your tarring? birthday. Well, anyway. Taurus the bull, my mother. Yeah. Um, they like practical, high-quality gifts. So uh, a really, like, plush, expensive candle yes. would be nice. A cocktail shaker that's like stainless steel. Beautiful. I like yeah. the coppery ones. Mm-hmm. A beautiful robe would be great a for them. A lush robe, sure. Yeah, so lush things that are practical. Those are all easy to get gifts for the holidays. All right, Geminis. Geminis, um, they love electro-bright, fad-friendly kind of things. So the Zodiac iPhone case. So this is just a really like crazy iPhone case. Sure. Uh, you could get them that's like all these bright colors, a portable charger that is kind of brightly colored, um, uh, a onesie that's really bright. Um, they're showing like a, a sunf- a matching sunflower jacket and pants that has like sunflower this sounds This sounds Gemini to me. I will for tell sure. you, our, one of our dear friends who's a Gemini, like I'm looking at this picture of what to buy and think about Matt. He would absolutely wear that. Like, he wears bright. Matt Campagna, who's yeah. a friend of the show, can wear things that no other person can 100%. wear. 100%. And pull it off as if he's walking off a Giorgio Armani runway. Honestly, he yeah. looks great no matter what he wears. He he knows how to wear a belt, that's for sure. And he just bright colors, even a Marvel t-shirt, and he can make it look upscale somehow. Yeah. Marvel is in Marvel comics in case right. people, people Or that you marvel at. Sure. Uh, cancers love sentimental gifts. Uh, they sure Personal do. Personal gifts, engraved things. Of course. Gifts with history. So it's showing me some uh, crystal stemless flutes that you can engrave. It's not easy to get things engraved. No, it isn't. It really isn't. There used to be a store that does it, and I don't think it's around anymore. No. A cotton napper, which is not a... It's a cotton napper? What's it, that? It's just a blanket. I don't know why they're calling it a napper. That's weird. But anyway... Cotton napper. I, this was says. Look. I bet that's the UK. But, na- n- but diapers. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. I'm going to stay away from that word. Anyway... Um, well, listen, you could get a cancer adult oh, diapers. Oh, okay. That are but plush. listen, listen. I don't know about adult diapers, but uh, it says the cancer in your life will love receiving the gift of a weighted blanket. Yes. And we gave the one of the cancers in our life a, a weighted, weighted blanket, blanket yeah. last year. So and there she you loved go. It, yeah. She did love it. Weighted blankets Speaking are of which, awesome. I haven't bought anything for her. Okay. I have something upstairs. So oh, don't do you? Worry. Okay. Um, I just want to say this to our listeners. 
who, you know, are always looking for ways to help them facilitate their way to sleep. A weighted blanket might be an option. It has helped me. Okay. Yes. Next. It has helped you. Leo's. Love Leo's. Love myself yeah. a Leo. Leo, you guys have great hair. I'm going to guess that it's going to be some sort of hair product thing. L- a cool brush. Yes. A curling iron, something like that. Leo's love glamorous gifts that show they can show off to the public. So it's showing me a Christian Louboutin nail polish. Wow, fancy. Look at the bottle. It's really cool. Super fancy. It's like a space needle. Um, and it's obviously very expensive nail polish, but apparently Aaliyah would really like that. How much was that going to run you? $50. Wow. Um, but how, how long does nail polish last, Amanda? I mean, that's a whole podcast. Oh, really? Well, are you talking regular nail polish? You're talking gel, acrylic? I'm talking about that nail polish. So if you spent 50 bucks, it seems like a lot. But if you bought it as a holiday gift and that person had it for, say, five months. Oh, a bottle of nail polish will last you years. Okay, so that yeah. $50 investment. You'd have to wear a lot of nail polish of just one color okay. for it to not last you years. Like, they, they all last too long, to be honest. You usually end up throwing them out oh, before really? they're done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, ageless skincare, like a gold skincare that has, you know, like expensive Caviar like gold in it. flakes okay. in it, like things like that. So that those are Leo gifts. Okay, Virgo. I, I argue that a, a wonderful s- set of hairbrushes or curling irons or so like blow a gold dryers. hairbrush, like yeah, they would you love know, that. like like that Dyson mm-hmm. uh, blow dryer thing. Do set. you remember there was a Christmas story where the woman cut her hair <laughs> yes. to sell it to get the husband a wallet or something? I referenced it at the store the other day, and this guy just looked at me like I was crazy. I was buying something for you, and anyways, the whole story. And but I hang said, on a second. The 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 woman cuts gonna, her hair. Oh, I know, sorry. I was going to okay. explain. And I said to him, you know, it's like I cut my hair, and he bought me a comb, and uh, he cut his watch off or whatever. Like cut his arm off. What, what, <laughs> no. what happens in this That's story? what I'm trying to think. What did the guy do? She, she cut her hair. He buys her comb for her hair, but she cuts her hair so she can buy him, uh, I it's, thought it was a watch. It's something like she cuts her hair and what he buys her a comb so it can, it can grow back, but he cuts something or he does something that can't go back. Like he cuts his arm off and she buys him a watch or something. Well, can I finish these zodiac sure, sure. signs before yeah. we get into random stories we had to read in fifth grade? Okay. Um, okay, Virgo. And I will tell you if it's true. As and Amanda is a Virgo. I think we've established that. A water bottle ice tray. What is that? Definitely ice. You love ice oh, in all your drinks. I do love this because these ice can you show it to are, me? you know, we used to have one like this. And I never thought to do that. They're long. They're long oh. bars of ice, so you can put them in your water bottle right. versus trying to shove a cube in. Right. Why did I never do that when we had them? Well, okay, no, I hope I, I can get it in a week's time. <laughs> um, timeless furniture, textiles, and details. Book, a beautiful coffee table book. You do like that, that kind I of stuff. I do love textiles and details. You buy, you buy, you tend to buy um, coffee table books when we go to museums. I do. And I'm like, what are we doing with this book on like yeah. ivory or whatever? And you're like, it's a great coffee table I book. I do not have a coffee table book on ivory. <laughs> for, for that we know of, friends. That I we know have of. two coffee table books, I think, though. I have one of an artist that I just was so inspired by her art in Chicago. Diane Arbus, right? Is that her name? Well, see how inspired you are that you don't remember her name. I, I thought don't. it was Diane Arbus. She was a nanny in Chicago in the 50s. Anyway, um, I was so inspired. I bought that book. And then I think we have a Dolly Parton one I bought. That's it. That was my birthday present last year. I know. Yeah. And for the record, still in the plastic. No, it's out of the plastic. Okay. I've been looking at it. Yeah. All right. Uh, an arrow garden, it says. A what garden? You know, one of those like uh, growing herbs. Oh, okay. Is that true? Would you want that? Mm, to me, it takes up too much space. Okay. And then I have to have a light bright oh. on it. And it's just all too much work. Okay, lavish Libras. Every, it's telling me every every sign apparently loves luxury, but um, it's telling you, me uh, makeup kits, perfumes, cookware, art, designer sort of things. So a vanity mirror, really cool little skinny vanity mirror, uh, a food scale for a Libra. I would never give anybody a food scale. 
oh, really beautiful perfumes for Libras, apparently. This, this feels like it has a, a gender slant to it. I, I'm going to tell you, I had a hard time with these lists because okay. most of them are like a, a store telling you what to buy from I their see. store. This was CNN, so I thought okay. it needs to be unbiased, but debatable. <laughs> um, Scorpio, like intuitive, thoughtful, and deep gifts. So for some reason, it's crystal-infused zodiac nail polish. Okay. There's a lot of nail polish on this. Um, that's not to say a man can't wear nail polish. No, that's true. Nail polish. Um, ele- I think this is true for the Scorpios I know, actually. A- electronic cutter, like a crafting machine. Oh, sure. Yeah, because one of the Scorpios I know best has a whole bottom, uh, what is it called, like a plastic, a 3D printer. Yes. And he's made an entire business, like huge business. Now he's a brick and mortar. Oh, I didn't know he had a brick and mortar. Yes. Now. That's great. Yeah, they, was... bought a, they, they actually rent an old, what was an art gallery, beautiful storefront. Wow. Yeah. And and uh, should I give his company a little I, I, shout out? I love them, if so you for like, sure. Okay, so if you like goth kind of things, I use goth pretty liberally here. But anyway, their company is called- Or if you're a Libra. Or if you're, well, but this is Scorpio and that's what he is. Okay, but I'm just saying this is a perfect Libra. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the company is called Cursed by Design. And I'll tell you, he started with one little 3D printer and now he has like a warehouse in the back full of them. He and his partner, uh, they it started doing really well in the pandemic. And it's, it's goth kind of, they have a lot of Christmas gifts. So, Do they have a Shaka Khan ornament? And if not, can Sh- they please? How is Shaka Khan part of that? She's I don't, not goth. You don't know. Okay. You don't know what Sh- Shaka Khan does anyway, so when she's not like, in Vegas you know, performing. Coffins and things like that. Right. And, fair anyway. enough. Okay. Like like a planter that's a skull. Right. Like stuff like that. Okay. They, um, they should start making Shaka Khan um, ornaments. All right. Finally, Sagittarius. Yes. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> so... Would you want, okay. is your perfect gift, uh, a mini instant camera? Oh, that's not a bad gift. Sure. It's telling me that you like to make a splash with bright colors and edgy flair. Yeah. And uh, it says, troll the boot- indie boutiques instead of the malls. That's you. you is like it? Yeah, you love a little boutique where you can pick things up and look at them. It's true. Yeah. And Sagittarians prefer no muss, no fuss gifts that they can take on the road with them because they like to travel. That is true. Yeah, that is true. A cadence capsule. capsule. What? What? Oh. I don't know what it is, but I want okay. it. Okay. So it looks like a honeycomb. I'm going to show you. It looks like a honeycomb. Are they tablets I throw in the back? They, that's what they look like. But actually, they're little containers that you can put your travel stuff in. Oh, let me see. And they all snap together. So you could put medications and you can label them. So one is for medications. One would be a pair of earrings. One would be your lip balm, whatever. But they're, they look like a little honeycomb web so that they all snap together. Oh, that is kind of cute. Yeah. And you – so that everything – I guess if you're traveling, you just take that whole – and you can keep buying them, so you can make it as big or as small as you want, and then you just put it on your dresser or whatever when you're traveling, and then it's all right there. I will say travel gifts for Sagittarians are great. Remember mm-hmm. one time I had all these little capsules that you would put your you'd put your shirts in one, and you'd zip it up and throw it in your yeah, luggage. Yeah, you love travel gifts. You put something else in another one, and you fold it up. And remember, I got you this gift that you you twisted your nose at it first, and then you really liked it, and it was kind of. What a, is, there's so much nose twisting discussion listen, today. Listen, it happens. The only person who truly understands me is Shaka Khan. So you would like open it like an accordion and when it would open to its fullest, it would kind of go in a pyramid shape and you could put that flat in your luggage. And then when you put it, when you got to your destination, right. you'd put it in your closet right. and everything that was in every fold of the accordion would be. I used it when lined. I was yeah. traveling. Yeah, you I loved d- it. I did use mm-hmm. it. Yeah. It was like perfect. I didn't have to, because I was staying at a lot of hotels for one night, but I would be gone for like two months. So I could just open it up. Boom. There it is in my closet. I didn't have to like unpack and pack each time. Just to finish explaining it for our listeners Mm -hmm. in case they didn't catch that. When it would unfold as an accordion, there it would have like shelves. It would have little spots where you would tuck in your t-shirts, your shirts, Mm -hmm. socks, undies, whatever. And you could, it had a hook. So when it would unfold as an accordion, you would hook it in your closet. It would just hang there with everything neatly put. Where is that thing? I don't know. What did you do with it? 
Why? Why is it me? Because you used it. I never really used it. You never it. used it? No, because you used it for when you were traveling a lot. I think it might have broken. I might have. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't but know. But it, it, it had a good run. I, if it's broken and we don't use it. I mean, I did use it in the time that I needed it. Yeah, I think it. we used it quite a bit. So. I was traveling for three years nonstop. Yeah. So. It, was, yeah. it was a great gift, I thought. The final thing it says for Sagittarians is just a really nice travel bag, which I think is true. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So there you go. Well, folks, thank you for taking this journey. It was a little bit longer than our regular show. Well, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, thank you. And happy birthday to everyone who is listening, whether it's your birthday or not. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Tell your friends about it, and you'll hear more from us tomorrow. I thought, listen and enjoy, no? Sure. You always end, I thought you always ended the same. Isn't that a thing? Yeah, it is. Listen and enjoy, and possibly sleep. You got or it. something like that. That's exactly it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Amanda. 